Good morning everyone. At this time, the philosophy that I want to present and share to you is about realism. So let us try identify the following, nature of that philosophy, how the philosophy was integrated in the curriculum, expected competences from that philosophy, recommended teaching strategy on how to integrate that in the curriculum and overall reflection. So the first is the nature of that philosophy. The term realism comes from the Latin word realis, who is to be really or really real. Realism refers to the things exist whether or not the human minds perceive them. Did you know that Aristotle was the leading proponent of realism and the first philosopher to develop a systematic theory of logic? In a deeper meaning of realism, it is a philosophy that assumes that there is a real external world that can be recognized. So, there are facts about the philosophy of realism. First, realism believes in the world which we see or perceive to be true. Second, realists believe in the present life. Third, realists believe in the truth of life and aim of life is in the development of a systematic life. Lastly, realists tend to believe that what we believe now is only approximately of reality and that every new observation brings us closer to understanding reality. So what are the facts about the realist teacher? A teacher should be educated and well-versed with the costumes of belief and rights and duties of people in the threat. He must a, uh, have full mastery of knowledge of present life and he must be able to correlate between utility in daily life and education. Next, how that philosophy was integrated in the curriculum? First, develop according to utility and needs. Second, subjects concerning day-to-day -day activities. Third, preferred main subjects are being taught based on what curriculum now is being existed. Example, natural science, physical science, health culture, physical exercise, math, geography, reading, and even research-based instruction. So what expected competences from that philosophy? Preparing the students for happy and successful life. Preparing the students for a real life. Developing the physical and mental powers of the students, developing and training of senses, acquainting the students with the nature and social environment, imparting in vocational education, understanding the material world through inquiry, a study of science and the scientific method, a need to know the world in order to ensure survival and good life, basic essential knowledge with no nonsense approach, transmit culture and develop human nature. Lastly, help individuals understand and apply the principles of science to help solve the problem in the world. So what are the recommended teaching strategy on how to integrate that in the curriculum? Emphasis on critical reasoning through observation. So force accountability and performance-based teaching. Scientific research and development. Next, mastery of facts through recitation, experimentation, demonstrations, drills, and exercise. Next, education should proceed from simple to complex and from concrete and to abstract. Next, emphasis learning through direct or indirect experiences through lecture, films, TV, audiovisual aids, computer technology, and library. Next, learning is based on facts, analysis, and question. Next, vernacular to be medium of instruction. Next, precision and order. Next, children should give positive rewards. Next, writing research paper develops and improves reading skills, critical evaluation, and reasoning skills. And lastly, the hands-on approach. So what are the overall reflection? Realism has probably had the greatest impact on educational philosophy because it is the foundation of scientific reasoning. Realist educators encourage students to draw their observation and conclusions from the world around them rather than confining themselves to an analysis of their own ideas. Next, educational realism is the belief that we should study logic, critical thinking, and scientific method to teach students to perceive and understand reality. Next, the methods of teaching according to realism is to abstract from the personality of both the teacher and the students and allow the facts to speak for them. In a process of presenting facts, the teacher is not expected to express his subjected opinion on the matter. Next, in this learner-centered approach, 
The role of teacher is to identify the needs of the learner and to serve as a resource person. Idealism holds that ideas are the only true reality. Realism holds that reality exists independent of the human mind. Matter in the universe is real and independent of mind's ideas. Next, a realistic teacher stresses that the students learn through their senses. This involves teaching methodologies that have students doing and experiencing things rather than just listening. This can include such as activities as group work, project, research, and so on. And lastly, it focuses on the actualities of life and truthfully trace the commonplace characters of everyday life. The purpose of using realism is to emphasize the reality and morality that is usually relativistic and intrinsic for the people as well as the society. Thank you for listening. Have a blessed day!